we are going to factor out quadratic trinomial when a is not equivalent to 1. So when you say a, this is the leading coefficient. I made a video on how to, fa uh, to factor quadratic trinomial when a is only equivalent to 1. But this time, a is not equivalent to 1. So you, you have to watch the previous version first, I mean the pre previous topic, in order for you to better understand this one. Now, so over here, we have to think of two numbers. We can make a t-table just like the previous lesson that I did. So two numbers must multiply to negative 9. But in this case, it's not going to be negative 9. We are going to include the 2 here. So two numbers must multiply to negative 9 by 2. So before, when a is equivalent to 1, the number must multiply to negative 9. But in this, this time, it's not going to multiply to negative 9. Instead, it's going to multiply to negative 9 times 2. And just like before, I don't usually write the sign in order for me not to be confused. So 9 times 2 is equal to 18. I will just write 18. And then... Two numbers that multiplies to 2, I mean that add up to 3, sorry. So what numbers that add up, add up to 3? So just like before, it's the same. It has to add up to 3, but then instead of multiplying just to negative 9, it will multiply to 2 times 9, which is 18. Now, what are the two numbers that multiplies to 18? So we can start with 9 and 2. But again, you have to ask yourself, if I add this, I will be getting 11. If I minus this, I will be getting 7, but I need 3. <coughs> It means it's not going to work. So I have to think of some other factors of 18, which is 6 and 3. If I add this, I will get 9. If I minus this, I will get 3. Therefore, I should use 6 and 3. Now you have to check whether it's positive 3 here or negative. Because if it's negative, for example, this is negative 3, just example. Therefore, we will be using 3 minus 6 in order to ob obtain negative 3. But since we have a positive 3 here, we will just use 6 minus 3 over here. So we just have to split this into two numbers. And that is going to be 6n minus 3n. Basically 6 minus 3 over here. As you can see, 6 minus 3 is still 3n. We are just splitting this number in the middle into two different numbers. Next, we just have to copy the other. So 2n squared. Copy plus. And then bring it down again, minus 9. Next up, we are going to factor out, or we are going to group them. We are going to group the first two and the second two terms. Now take note, guys. You can actually switch this. You can write three, minus 3 and here, and you can write 6 and here. It doesn't matter. You will get the same answer. Now, what is the common factor between the first two terms? And the next two terms. So the common factor here is they are both divisible by 2. So I'm going to take 2 out. This can provide n squared. This can provide only 1n. So I can take n outside. Now 2n squared divided by 2n is just n. Or basically 2 divided by 2 is 1. There's a 1 in here, imaginary. We don't have to write it. n squared divided by n is just n. And then 6n divided by the number that you uh, took out, which is my plus 3n. And then here, what's the common factor? We can take negative 3 outside, and then n plus 3. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. 6n divided by 2n over here is equivalent to 3. Now, as you can see, I already noticed that I made a mistake in here. Why? Because I am expecting that this and this are the same. So you should also do that. You should check and make sure that this and that are equivalent to each other because the moment they are not equivalent it means you are doing something wrong just like what I did I did something wrong in here but I just fixed it next now since this is the same that is one of our factor now n plus 3 and the other factor are the remaining numbers outside which is 2n combined to minus 3 so 2n minus 3 so basically, this is just like one term and another term where you can take the common factor. A shortcut, take this one and then combine it with a number here. And that is the factor for this one. So for another example, I will make a t-table again. So I'm going to think of a, two, uh, of a number that multiplies to 4 times 3. So that is 12. And that will, subtract, that will add up or subtract to negative 8. So it will add up to negative 8, or I will just write 8 for now. 
I will ignore the signs. But if you are good at, uh, on integers, this will be very easy for you guys. Now, what two numbers gives me 12? So, I can write 4 and 3. Again, I will ask myself, 4 plus 3 is 7. 4 minus 3 is 1. It's not going to work because I need 8. Therefore, I have to use some other factor, which is 6 and 2. If I add 6 and 2, I will get 8. So, that's it. I need 6 and 2. But the problem is, I need negative 8 here. So, all you have to do is to write it as negative 6 and minus 2n in order to obtain a negative 8 but if you need positive that therefore is just plus 6n and plus 2n again we will just split the middle term into two numbers which are the numbers that we found in here and then we will just take this down copy it because we didn't do anything to this and then the same thing goes for this just like earlier we don't care whether the 2n comes first or the 6n you will get the same answer anyways Next, we are going to group the first two and the second two numbers. For the first two, the common factor here is 3n. Therefore, if I divide this by 3n, it's just n. If, the, if I divide this by 3n, it's just minus 2 or negative 2. Here, what is the common factor in here? As you can see, the middle sign here is negative, but here we have positive. That is why you have to take negative outside. So this is 2 and 4, so take negative 2 outside. In order for this to be just n minus 2, I have to make sure that these are the same. So just in case you only take 2, what will happen? It will be negative n over here plus 2, which will be different to this. That's why I take a negative 2 outside. Now, as you can see, we have the same number, I mean same factor here, which is n minus 2. So the shortcut is just write n minus 2. And then bracket the remaining numbers outside those two brackets that are equal. So 3n minus 2. And that is how you factor a quadratic trinomial when a is not equivalent to 1.